about the Redford River is those fish are aggressive. There's really a lot of different hatches happening, mainly the stoneflies. So there's some smaller stoneflies, some of the big goldens. But what I found is I've got a real nice attractor caddis. It's Don's attractor caddis and it imitates small stones or big caddis patterns. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tap the fly. For the hook, we'll use a size 12 2X long dry, some 8 op black thread to tie with, some deer hair for the tail, some bright copper electro braid for the body, brown hackle for the rib, some deer hair for the wing, and some brown hackle as the hackle. To start the fly off, I'm taking a small clump of deer hair and make sure you don't use a whole lot of deer hair. Just want a small little clump, measure up, you know, about the about half the length of the hook and tie it off for the tail. Now the next step is important. I'm actually going to take a small, like it's a long but a thin, tell the barbs are you know half the distance of the hook shank. They're quite quite narrow, quite short. I want to take this tight in by the tip and we're actually going to rib this up the body after we tie it in. So again, tie it in by the tip and leave it off the back until we get the body tied in. Now the body can be tied with a variety of materials, sometimes I dub it, but I found this copper electro braid is really nice. It, it glistens in the sun, a little bit more of an attractor, and it works really good in that rough water. So we'll tie it in at the tail, and then we'll wrap it up, probably about two thirds of the hook to form the body. Now the body's tied in, I'm gonna take the hackle that we put off the back, and this is again a very, very thin hackle. I'm gonna take about four or five turns, just to form a, Hackle, thin hackled body on the fly. And finish off about two thirds of the way up the hook. Now I'm ready for the wing. And when I make the wing, I want a little more, I want probably three times as much deer hair as I put out the tail. And I like to stack it. I like this to be fairly even. So I am gonna put that in a, in a hair stacker. Stack it up. And that just makes all the, uh, all the ends nice and even. Trim it down and then we'll Put in both just past the hook shank, about the length of the tail out the back, and put that in for the wing. Now I've taken hackle about twice as long as the one I tied in for the body. So this one's at least as long as your hook gap, if not a little bit bigger. And we're gonna tie it by the butt. So tie it in by the butt end. And you can see I've left lots of room at the head to tie this in. Take some hackle pliers and wrap in a nice full hackle on this fly. You want this hackle to cover most of the head and you want it to be quite full. Now to finish the fly off, I'm just going to whip finish off the head. And there it is. And the finished attractor. Now this attractor, again, can imitate many different kite insects, mainly caddis and small stones. I've used it when some mayflies have been coming off, but again, when you've got small stones hatching, you've got aggressive fish, you've got some big caddis or sedge on the water, this is a great go-to pattern. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sf otf.ca and if you would like to book an adventure like this one shown head to on the fly and book yourself the trip of a lifetime